What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I just sold 50% of this stock, and I want to share that with you guys, okay? But before we do that, please do me a favor. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure this video get at least 1,000 likes, and make sure to keep it locked to the end of this video because I got a jam pack on for you today, okay? Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm kicking it off, guys, having the love on the family. I got this one from my guy, Jeremy. Jeremy, if you see this, man, I want you to know I'm proud of you, and I want you to know major salute. He said, Chris, I made almost 2,600 today from AMD, Tesla, and Apple cars. Shout out to the money team. You guys already know what time it is. You guys already know how we put it down, okay? Jeremy is part of the money team, and this next person is too, all right? I would have made more off of AMD if I stayed in it to 115, but I bought it on a pullback. I love that. So I still made good money, even at a 111. I listened to the ranges for Tesla and made an option play of my own. Thanks again, Chris. I can't wait to make more picks. I love this, man. Jeremy, major salute. Way to execute way to be surgical with it okay check this one out guys we had a home run today this one's from princess might be one of the youngest traders in the game she's doing her thing i want to say major salute way to knock this one off the park 140 percent 488 almost 500 dollars in a day's worth of work i love to see it she said i sold my rivian at 140 percent way to follow the levels we talk about way to follow the instructions in terms of where to get in where to exit don't overstay your welcome. See profit, take profit. Guys, these lessons I teach pays. We just must run the play. We call it in the huddle, okay? Great job to everybody who did their thing on the day. Let me know down in the comments below if you made moves or money today. I want to hear all about it. With that being said, guys, I want to share with you the stock that I sold 50% of today. And that stock is Apple. Check it out, guys. At the time of this recording, Apple is sitting up 1%, still having another killer day in the market. It was up as high as 191 on the day. You guys know, if you've been with me any amount of time, I have this as low as 120. 140 is the area I love to buy this at 140, 135, 124. I have this at 124. I have taken this up to all time 52 week highs, okay? And guys, it's time to trim some of my position. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Check it out. On the week, Apple was flat. On the month, it is up 3%. On the past three months, it is up nearly 20%. And then the year, guys, I have crushed this particular play. And so I'm selling 50% of my position okay and i'm holding on to 50 percent. okay i'm just taking some profits because we are at or near a 52 week high not that it can't go higher but you only sell for these three reasons guys remember this if the ceo leaves if some fundamentals with the company changes and or you see a better opportunity what i need you guys to do is stick around so i can show you where some of this money will be deployed to next okay but check this out guys looking at these numbers apple has a pe of 32 right now okay and this is yahoo finance where i'm looking at these little brief fundamentals they have a forward and a dividend yield of 0.96 the the pe the stock everything everything is just at a level i've been doing this a long time guys i always preach and i pound the table 140 and below so when you are an individual that is a buy and hold investor long term i've been buying this up at 129 131 you remember those levels guys and i've taken it all the way up to 192 193 all right but with that being said I am trimming some of my position because there's better opportunities that are in also quality companies that have not ran as much as 30% in a year, okay? And so that money will go into another quality company that has this type of move ahead of it, okay? So what do you do when you're in a play and the, the stock is ran so high and it doesn't have much more room to go. You look to find other opportunities. You don't just hold it and let the gains come all the way back down and then you wipe away your gains. No, you lock in some of that profit and then guys, you go shopping, okay? With that being said, 
keep an eye out for my upcoming video as I will be making an announcement on what that stock is, okay? With that being said, check it out, guys. Rivian, a really quick update. This one is up 5% on a day. Remember I told you guys about the ability and the power of rinsing and repeating, okay? This one was at 24. I said, guys, this is where you wanna get this at, why? Because it's going back to the upside. I also said, whenever you see a triple bottom or a double bottom, it typically means you got a move coming to the upside. What kind of upside do we have? 5%. In the world of options, when we trade, this is like 100%, okay? So this is like when we, you see us show 10,000 and we turn it to 20,000, that was this move right here, 5% move. Guys, you have to take advantage when I call out these levels, okay? Because you still have so much money to make. Price target on this one, guys, still remains 2750. Yes, it may go higher, but we're not being greedy. I'm okay if you take profits. I'll never be mad at anybody for taking profits on their journey. If you guys are up massively, like you saw here, we got up 140% in this particular play. Guys, this is possible, okay? And only difference is where you choose to get in at and where you choose to exit at. This play will go to 2750, not in the straight line. So remember, on pullbacks, listen to the listen to the advice okay listen to the guidance okay trust the process get this it's going least now you know 26 dollars if, if you set 24 you least know it's going to 26 that is a perfectly fine move there even if you don't hold it to 27.50 but don't overstay your welcome most importantly don't get greedy guys and then check this one out DraftKings. I told you I was a little late to the party introducing this on the channel. Not late in real life, but late as far as this. However, I just wanted to show my technicals panned out again. I thought this play, when it was at $22, I was like, man, this stock is going to 30. I got everything I thought. This is at 30, 52 at the time of this. This too is up 5% or a little bit above 5% on a day. Major salute to anybody that has did their thing or is doing their thing in these current plays, okay? With that being said, guys, again, listen, it's important on your journey that you manage your risk. It's important that you manage your portfolio. You will have to take profits at some point in time, okay? And I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with you on when do you sell, okay? Because today I sold 50% of my position in Apple, okay? And I'm deploying that into another quality company, which you got to stay tuned for, all right? But with that being said, you don't just want to see your money go up and then you don't do anything, okay? Because the market will at some point come back down. And guess what we are going to do? Write this word down. Rinse and repeat. You're going to repeat the same process. They're going to come down to or at near our levels, okay? And all we will do okay buy them over again so when apple come back down to an area that i feel is decent 140 i always call out that level for you so for example 150 140 let's just say that and it can now run back from 150 to 196 i like that better than sitting right at 189 190 does that make sense hopefully that does overall i hope this information was helpful check it out guys on your journey you have decisions to make you have to manage and actively manage your portfolio, okay? Meaning, put your stop loss on, manage your risks, know where you want to get in at, know where you want to get out at, have a plan. We will never abandon it, but this is why we accumulate so many shares, so you can reward yourself when you're up. Do me a favor before you go, guys. Overlook your portfolio, okay? Review it, and then look at areas that you might be up. So we got plays that we're up 100% in. Uh, 200 percent if you in nvidia or something like that okay you have to look at that and think to yourself where do you want to exit at where do you want to lock in some of the profits at the market is cyclical so it's going to go up but there will be a period there'll come a day where it'll come down and that's when we go to work okay so again fall in love with the process fall in love with the journey keep making money with me both on the investing side and the option side okay and let's continue to do it together. With that being said, guys, listen, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. So do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.